Military NATO death investigation underway in Hialeah. Sky 10 flying over the scene just before 9 this morning where you can see crime tape wrapped around two cars. Let's get straight over to Local 10's Roy Ramos. And I know he's live right now at the scene in Hialeah with what we know so far. Roy? Oh, Christy and Janice, we did see those detectives focusing their attention on both of those vehicles that have since been towed away. But we've also been watching as they have been going in and out of the door that you're looking at right there that has been knocked off of its hinges. It's also right there where the victim's body was discovered. Let's go ahead and show you what this all looked like when we first arrived here. Sky 10 above the scene of a shooting that we've learned happened early this morning in the area of West 13th Lane and 46th Street in Hialeah. On the ground, crime scene techs were seen focusing their attention on those two vehicles in a parking lot and then at a home where we watched as they took pictures, gathered evidence, and now working to find out more as to what led up to this man found shot dead. Well, we just got an update from Hialeah police that tell us a boyfriend and girlfriend were here at this home when an ex-boyfriend arrived here. That boyfriend then informed that ex-boyfriend that he did have a weapon. There was some sort of a confrontation and that ex-boyfriend was shot and killed. As we come back out live from that home right there, I can tell you that we did watch as that boyfriend was taken away by Hialeah police, placed into handcuffs and in the back of that police cruiser. However, at this time, he and his girlfriend are cooperating with this investigation. No charges have been filed. As we get the more information on this, we'll be sure to let you know. For now, here in Hialeah, Roy Ramos, Local 10 News. Okay, thanks for that, Roy.